Baker Mayfield took shots at the Giants, and specifically Giant fans. Here's uh, He was asked about uh, Odell Beckham and uh, th uh, the things people have to say about him, etc. And he said he's here to work, and he wants to be surrounded by people who love him and support him and allow him to be himself. He's here to play in front of fans who actually care, who will actually show up to every game and pack the stadium and love him for who he is. Wow, Baker Mayfield. One year in the NFL on a 7-8-1 and one football team has you feeling super-duper talkative about a fan base who you can say lots of things about them, but as someone who roots against the Giants, I'll tell you, I think Giants fans continue to show up um, in pretty strong numbers considering how bad the team has been recently. Um, what are your thoughts on this, Chris? Well, here's the thing. We talked about this a little bit earlier on Humpty Canny. I just didn't understand why Baker Mayfield would come out and make that kind of comment. It's not like the Giants fans didn't embrace Odell Beckham Jr. They just got tired of the antics because the team wasn't winning. Giants fans want the team to have success. You're talking about a franchise that has won a Super Bowl in each of the last four decades. So, I mean, they, they want to have an opportunity to talk about a winning team. And by and large, during Odell's tenure here as a Giant, they didn't do a whole lot of winning. I mean, they had, what, one winning season while he was playing for them? Yeah, 7, 8, and 1 would not be a season that New York Giants fans were excited about. No, that's true. That no, true so, that's what, so that's what I'm saying. 7, 8, and 1 would be exciting for the Cleveland Browns fans who in the two they, seasons prior had only won a combined one game. They were thrilled with 7, 8, and 1. Well, that's what it I'm was saying. Like, so Baker Mayfield doesn't have any context. He's playing in front of a fan base that's just excited to see them grow and develop and recognizing that they have a young nucleus of players. But with the Giants, the expectation is not to see flash plays from one or two guys on the team. It's that you're going to be competing for championships. Also, can I just say that I recognize Odell's flaws and shortcomings, and I also recognize his talent level. And I say all the time, I think he's a Hall of Fame receiver, and I think he'll go down as one of the greats probably. However, before you as the quarterback start talking about how much you, he's just here to be with people who love him and everyone's going to take care of him and we all support him, can you make it through one game with him first, bro? Can you, you know, see that actually? If he but, doesn't get enough balls, if he do, if he if Jarvis Landry's getting the ball too much after three games, just let's yeah, but, wait and see how loving everyone is of Odell. Yeah, but Peter, timeout. I mean, that's part of, and again, I don't like that he, that he said it, but part of being a, a really good leader, and from everything that we've heard about Baker Mayfield with his teammates, he's a really good leader, mm -hmm. and, and people and they like him. They like him a lot. But that's part of being a great leader is knowing exactly what your teammates need to have them buy into you. And if having conversations with Odell and Odell's kind of, you know... When I was in, there. Exactly right. You know, when I was with my ex, you know, he never treated me right. Yeah, he's, I mean, he's, know, speaking, he's kind of speaking he get for me the Odell ball. right now. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? And I think that goes a long way for Eli, didn't, Eli never loved me. Do you love me? Will you treat me like I'm number one? Of course I will, baby. I'll treat you like this forever and ever. Oh, my God, we've only known each other a few weeks. I know, but we're never going to break up. Tell, tell them everything they want to hear. Huh? Yeah, yeah. That's no, we're never going to break up. I love you so much. Oh, my God, you're brand new. I just met you. Mm -hmm. This is so fantastic. I've never been I've more never in love. I've never felt this way before. I've never <laughs> felt this way before. When I was with my ex, you know, it was so boring. It was played out. We never made the playoffs together. But this, oh, but my God. But here's the thing, though. It's not like Giants fans didn't love Odell Beckham Jr. Uh, the they thing. loved him. He, every, go look around the stadium. The catch that made him famous, that was a game that they lost against the Cowboys. It didn't matter. Didn't they matter. They loved everywhere. Exactly. But the Giants fans just got tired of losing, and then you had a new regime, so you couldn't blame it on them. Who are you going to blame it on? Yeah, but Chris, I mean, let's look at it this way. You're the Giants. He's the Cleveland Browns. You're with a woman. You're a lot less likely to put up with a woman's antics because you can, you can find another one. He'd be more likely to put up with the antics because he's grateful that the woman actually chose him. Well, I don't like Cleveland. the way you, you're, you're saying you're as revert? loyal as your options. That's exactly what I think he's saying. <laughs> I think no, they're could. grateful. Like, Cleveland will be grateful to have Odell Beckham Jr. Yeah. The New York Giants were happy they had Odell, but because that didn't equate to winning, because their expectations is to win championships. He became expendable. He became expendable. We'll find another one. Exactly right. And then, by the way, they basically found another one while he was already there. Take one Barkley. Exactly. Yeah.